So DNA and RNA are the two types of nucleic acids that you're most likely to encounter. And in a lot of ways, they're very similar, but there are a few differences that you should be aware of. The first one is that RNA contains uracil, which is a pyrimidine, and it contains that in place of thymine. So the U binds with the A in RNA. Um, whereas thymine and adenine are what bind in DNA. Secondly, RNA usually exists in single-stranded form, whereas DNA you tend to find in a double helix with complementary anti-parallel strands. Partly because of this, RNA is capable of fitting through nuclear pores and therefore is often found in the cytoplasm. And so a lot of times when you're looking at transcription and translation, the translation step will occur in the cytoplasm because the RNA is capable of moving out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. Whereas DNA, you're likely to find sequestered within a nucleus in most healthy cells. And lastly, something that is so fundamental that I actually forgot and put it last on the list is that RNA is ribonucleic acid, whereas DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. And what that means is that the sugar that forms the part of the nucleotide, in RNA, this sugar is ribose. It's that pentose sugar that it uses is ribose instead of deoxyribose. And the difference between these is that there is an OH group on carbon two of the ribose, whereas deoxyribose does not have that. These are the four main distinctions that you're looking at when you're comparing RNA and DNA, and otherwise they are very, very similar in structure.